Let's get more on this from Tanya Washington, who's a professor of law at Georgia State University. She joins us now live from Atlanta. Uh, Tanya, I want to start by getting your reaction to this verdict. Weinstein was only found guilty on the two lesser charges. He was acquitted on predatory sexual assault, and it looked as though the jury may have been deadlocked on that. Can you break down for us why the details of this case may have contributed to that outcome? Well, what we don't, um, we have two accusers in, in this particular case. As you said, there are outstanding charges based on other conduct by um, Mr. Weinstein. And we don't know, you know, the, the jury deliberations is a black box. We don't know what the jury was deadlocked about with respect to his conduct. But these charges are very serious. They carry up to five years in prison for the rape and up to 25 years for the criminal acts. So we he's still looking at 25 years, which at his age is essentially a life sentence. The Manhattan District Attorney Cy Vance said that this is a new landscape for survivors of sexual assault in America, um, and, and it's a new day. Eight women who have changed the course of history in the fight against sexual violence. Have they changed history here? Absolutely. This represents a paradigm shift. Um, the power of collective voices asserting their right to be free from predatory sexual conduct is incredible. And that's going to encourage many other survivors to come forward and to name their accusers and to use the justice system to get justice. Justice delayed is justice nonetheless. He goes on to say that the women have pulled the justice system into the 21st century by declaring rape is rape and sexual assault is sexual assault no matter what. You know, these women went to the New York Times with their story. They didn't go through the justice system and they had their cases play out in the public eye. Can we really say that this is true for all victims who want to prosecute these crimes? No, I mean, a, a lot of victims won't have access to a news outlet like the New York Times. Um, a lot of women may not have the support system that would allow them to bring charges against someone like um, a Harvey Weinstein. But nevertheless, I believe courage is contagious. And I believe seeing these women come forth and seeing an outcome that represents victory is going to inspire other women to name their predators and to pursue justice for the harm that they've experienced, no matter how long ago it occurred. Cy Vance had also said that uh, this would change the way these cases play out in a courtroom, that the old legal defense loopholes will no longer apply here, and that this sort of this case was evidence of that. Do you think that's in fact, the case, and how do you think that that will impact the charges that Weinstein faces in Los Angeles? I, I think it does. I think those observations made by um, Prosecutor Vance are, uh, uh, by Defense Attorney Vance, excuse me, are accurate. I think that no longer in these cases will the women who are alleging sexual assault and rape be the ones on trial. I think the focus will be rightfully as it should be on the defendant who is accused of these um, acts. And I think in terms of how today, the verdict that was announced uh, last week or Monday will uh, affect Weinstein in the future in LA with the charges that he's uh, going to have to answer to there, they're going to create um, an impression uh, of, of the kind of behavior that he's engaged in. And I think he has a harder hill to climb in those cases. All right, Tanya Washington out of Atlanta, really appreciate you being with us. Thanks for that.